Former Alameda County District Attorney Nancy O'Malley announced that she is backing the recall of her successor, Pamela Price, saying that she is unfit for office. The two public officials traded digs today at dueling press conferences two weeks before voters cast their ballots. Reporter Kelsey Thorne as the latest. Good afternoon. Thank you for coming here. A war of words between Alameda County District Attorney Pamela Price and former Alameda County DA Nancy O'Malley playing out Wednesday in two press conferences hours apart from each other. First up was former DA O'Malley who invited reporters to attend a Zoom call where she for the first time publicly announced her support for the recall of DA Price that I am fully endorsing the recall of Pamela Price, and I've been working diligently under the radar to make sure that that happens. O'Malley called Price incompetent and unqualified for the job, saying since the beginning of 2023, when Price first took office, she has failed to carry out the duties required of the position, consistently lied to the public, and ignored victims of crime in the county. She is making our community more dangerous. And she is rejecting the and ignoring the rights, the constitutional rights of victims of crime and all that they deserve to heal from the damage she has done. Not long after O'Malley's Zoom, D.A. Price held an in-person press conference at her office where she discussed an investigation into an alleged cover-up of juror discrimination and prosecutorial misconduct within the D.A.'s office going back decades. DA Price implicated several former employees, including O'Malley. Deputy District Attorney Morris Jacobson was assigned to defend, to respond uh, on behalf of the office, this office, under the leadership at that time of District Attorney Tom Orloff and Chief Assistant District Attorney Nancy O'Malley. DA Price says the investigation into the alleged cover-up is ongoing. When asked for her thoughts on O'Malley endorsing Price's recall, Price had this to say. What the public should know is that this is a sign, apparently, that we must be getting close to uncovering the role that Ms. O'Malley played as the former leader of this office when this prosecutorial misconduct actually was taking place. With less than two weeks until Election Day, it appears both women are digging in. O'Malley highlighting her record as a victim's advocate stressing what she sees as Price's dismantling of the DA's office and inability to do the job. Price standing strong on her record of criminal justice reform, calling O'Malley corrupt and a liar.